For quite some time, my wife Rachel was begging me to travel to Iceland. At first I thought, well, no way, it's way too cold there. And I don't know what I would do there. But after doing some research, I gave in and finally her most desired destination had become a reality. Because of certain restrictions inside the country, it's important that you load up on any adult beverages you may think you need at the duty-free shop. Our rental car company was just a short walk outside the airport. It is 5.46 a.m. in Keflavec Airport. This is the blue car rental. We just picked up the car. We're trying to get the Wi-Fi hooked up. And we are on our way to the hotel to Reykjavik. Should be about a 40 minute drive. Yeah, maybe a little more. Maybe a little bit more. We're pretty tired, only slept about, I don't know, an hour maybe yeah. on the plane. Maybe. So, all right, let's do it. We can see the mountains ahead. Yep, we are in Iceland. We got the Wi-Fi working. Yeah, finally. Look at this. Good news is, when arriving very early in Iceland, you get an entire day there. However, the bad news is that there is probably a 99% chance your hotel room won't be ready for quite a while. If you can afford it, it may not be a bad idea to book the room the night beforehand. Rachel found a place online that said they were open for breakfast nearby. So we decided to head in that direction. We figured it would be best to walk around town for a little bit to see some things while waiting for the room.
Raugabagur Street runs right through the middle of the city. It's where you will find most shops, bars, and restaurants. After spending some time at the modern cathedral, I decided it was time to find a spot and have a Viking lager. If you like beer and you're in Iceland, this is a must try. One of the better lager beers I've actually had, ever. We were really exhausted, so we figured we would just hang out in the hotel lobby and wait for them to call our name for the room. Finally, at around 1 p.m., we were able to check in. After taking a much needed nap, Rachel was getting ready for dinner so I decided to head down to the lobby and have another Viking. One of the top rated restaurants in Reykjavik is this place. I cannot pronounce it and I'm not even going to try, but it was fantastic. We both ended up going with the Taste of Iceland tasting menu. This consisted of scallops, arctic char, grilled lamb, white chocolate mousse. After walking off all of that, we decided to cap off our night at the Hard Rock Cafe to pick up some t-shirts and a few extra drinks before the night was over. The next morning we woke up and drove the Golden Circle, which you can check out in our other video. We then came back to Reykjavik, walked around the streets, decided to get some dinner before heading out for our big plans of the evening, jumping on a bus trying to see the northern lights. Super excited for this late night tour. Very nice. Oh, okay, cool. So normally I ask people, uh, are you planning to come back? Are you planning to come back? Yes. But it's very difficult now, like, are you co coming back? Our group ended up on a horse farm out in the middle of nowhere. We were super excited waiting there, getting ready to check out the lights to see the incredible Aurora Borealis until nothing happened but the next morning was bright and sunny so we decided hey why not go out in the town and check out some of the amazing views across the city You 
can take an elevator to the top of the modern cathedral to get some awesome 360 views of the entire city. And that's what we did. You wouldn't believe this little hot dog stand is world famous, but it is. It doesn't look like much, but these hot dogs are definitely worth your time and money, especially for lunch. This unique building took shape back in 2011. Harpa is the city's concert hall and conference center. The sun was shining bright that day so the color of the water was absolutely incredible. I've really never seen anything like it.
read a lot of great reviews about the famous Icelandic fish and chips. So there was no way we were going to miss that. What are you ready for? Fish and chips? Yes. Rachel loved this little blue house. If it was for sale, she probably would have bought it. Also, if you're in Reykjavik, you have to check out The Bar, which is set after the 1998 comedy classic, The Big Lebowski. The next day, our original plans got derailed. We drove out to a natural hot spring, but we quickly learned it was closed for the day. Rachel then found another spa with a quick Google search. This was about a 45 minute drive away, but sometimes when traveling, it's the unexpected that exceeds all expectations. The spa consisted of three man-made hot springs, which were powered by geothermal rock underneath the surface. Supposedly the thing to do is jump directly into the 45 degree natural lake just after getting out of the 105 degree hot spring.
My friend Bill from Chicago and I decided to take the challenge. And boy, am I glad I did. My body never felt so good afterwards. So say goodbye to our nice hotel room here in Reykjavik. And until next time. You're not coming. My whiskey on ice is melting down. My blood is running. Heart's beating fast. I'm counting down. You have three minutes. Well, Rachel and I decided to drive all the way out to this bridge between continents. So it's a it's a bridge that um, goes over separation of the European continent and, North, and America. North American continent. So this place is pretty crazy out here. It looks like you're on the moon. But it's raining a little bit. We're gonna go check it out. See you later. standing exactly in between Europe and the North American plates. Pretty cool. Don't get to do this every day. see the ocean and I saw this little path so we came out here there's absolutely no one around it seems like within miles and you got this beautiful landscape here um, we're gonna pull up here to show you it creates these little pools of all the water and it's just absolutely beautiful on the lava rocks and everything so if you ever come to Iceland you've got to check this place out this place.